man's best friend, shrouded in superstition. Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of dog superstitions from around the globe. Dogs, as you know, have been our companions for thousands of years, sharing our homes and hearths. But this long relationship has, in many cultures, evolved into something more, something mystical. Across the globe, in societies separated by vast oceans and towering mountain ranges, we find remarkable similarities in the beliefs surrounding our canine companions. These beliefs, passed down through generations, intertwine the natural world with the supernatural. They offer a glimpse into the human psyche, a reflection of our hopes and fears projected onto these loyal creatures. Join me as we explore these intriguing superstitions, uncovering the folklore and traditions that link humanity and dogs in this extraordinary way. In the tapestry of folklore, black dogs hold a curious position. Across cultures, from the British Isles to the Americas, these dark-furred canines are often viewed with suspicion, their presence heralding misfortune. In English folklore, the black shuck, a spectral hound with glowing red eyes, is said to roam the East Anglian countryside, its appearance a portent of death. Across the Atlantic, in Mexican and Central American folklore, we encounter the Cadejo. This mythical creature takes two forms, a benevolent white dog and a malevolent black dog forever locked in a struggle between good and evil. The black Cadejo, often associated with the devil, is said to prey on those who stray from righteous paths. Why black dogs? Perhaps it's their association with darkness, with the unknown, or perhaps it's their very presence, a silent, watchful figure appearing suddenly in the night, that has sparked such unsettling tales. Whatever the reason these superstitions persist, reminding us of the enduring power of belief in a world often beyond our understanding. Few sounds evoke such primal fear and unease as the howl of a dog. Across cultures this mournful cry is often interpreted as a harbinger of ill omen, a chilling prediction of impending doom. In ancient Greece, the three-headed dog Cerberus guarded the gates of the underworld, its deafening howls signaling the arrival of the recently departed. This belief in the dog's ability to sense death echoes through time and across continents. In Ireland, a dog howling outside a sick person's home was considered a sure sign that death was near. Similarly, in Native American cultures, a dog howling at night was thought to be communicating with spirits, often foreshadowing a death in the community. Whether rooted in the dog's heightened senses or simply our own human anxieties, the howling dog remains a potent symbol of mortality, a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the ever-present shadow of death. The moon, with its ethereal glow and cyclical nature, has captivated humanity for millennia. It's no surprise then, that our canine companions, so attuned to the rhythms of nature, are often linked to this celestial body in folklore and superstition. In many cultures, dogs howling at the moon are believed to be engaging in a mystical dialogue, communicating with spirits or deities residing in the lunar realm. In some Native American traditions, the moon is seen as a powerful entity, governing the tides and influencing the natural world. Dogs with their keen senses are thought to be particularly receptive to the moon's energy, their howls a form of prayer or offering to this celestial being. Whether we interpret these lunar howls as a form of celestial communication, or simply a response to the moon's gravitational pull, they remind us of the deep connection between all living things and the awe-inspiring mysteries of the cosmos. Chapter 4. The Unseen World. Do dogs hold the key? Dogs are believed to possess a sixth sense perceiving spirits and ghosts, deeply ingrained in many cultures. Their keen hearing, sharp eyesight, and powerful sense of smell detect changes that elude humans. In ancient Egypt, dogs were revered as guardians of the underworld, warding off evil spirits. Today, many report dogs behaving strangely, sensing presences invisible to humans. Whether due to sensitivity to electromagnetic fields or a genuine connection to the spirit world, dogs bridge the gap between the seen and unseen. Chapter 5. From Familiars to Furry Friends, Dogs and the Occult The image of a witch with a black cat is a familiar trope in Western folklore. Yet, dogs have also played a significant role in the history of witchcraft and magic. In medieval Europe, black dogs were often associated with witches. These animals were believed to be witches' familiars, aiding them in their magical workings. 
Dogs were also thought to be shapeshifters, capable of transforming into demonic forms. This led to the persecution of countless innocent animals. These beliefs offer a glimpse into a darker chapter in our relationship with dogs. Chapter 6. Paw Prince of Fortune. Dogs as Symbols of Good Luck. While some cultures view dogs with suspicion, others revere them as symbols of good luck and prosperity. A dog entering your home is considered a sign that good fortune is on its way. In Japan, the Shiba Inu is believed to bring good luck and ward off evil spirits. These dogs are often depicted in Japanese art and folklore as loyal companions and protectors. Whether superstition or appreciation, dogs remind us of their positive impact on our lives. Chapter 7. A Dog's Lick Folk Remedy or Canine Magic From the saliva of birds building nests to the sap of ancient trees, the natural world is full of substances that humans have, for centuries, believed to hold healing properties. And in the realm of folk remedies, the humble dog lick holds a curious position. In some cultures, a dog's saliva is believed to possess remarkable healing properties, capable of soothing wounds, curing illnesses, and even warding off evil spirits. This belief likely stems from the observation that dogs instinctively lick their wounds, a natural behavior that promotes healing. While the scientific evidence supporting the medicinal properties of dog saliva is limited, there's no denying the psychological comfort and emotional support that a dog's lick can provide. Whether we view it as a folk remedy or simply an act of canine affection, the belief in the healing power of a dog's lick highlights the deep bond between humans and these empathetic creatures. Chapter 8. Loyal Souls Reborn, Dogs and the Cycle of Life The concept of reincarnation, the belief that the soul is reborn into a new body after death, is a central tenet of many Eastern religions, including Hinduism and Buddhism. And within this cycle of life, death and rebirth, dogs hold a unique position. In some cultures dogs are believed to be reincarnated souls, either human or animal, returning to the earthly realm to learn valuable lessons or fulfill a karmic destiny. This belief likely stems from the dog's unwavering loyalty, their capacity for unconditional love, and their deep connection to the natural world. In Tibetan Buddhism, for instance, it's believed that after death, the consciousness of a being may take temporary refuge in the form of a dog before moving on to its next rebirth. This belief underscores the interconnectedness of all living beings and the cyclical nature of life, death, and rebirth. Chapter 9. Canine Meteorologists, Predicting the Weather, One Bark at a Time Long before the advent of modern meteorology, humans relied on their observations of the natural world to predict weather patterns. And in this ancient practice of weather forecasting, dogs, with their heightened senses and attunement to atmospheric changes, played a surprising role. In various cultures certain dog behaviors such as excessive barking, restlessness or changes in eating habits, were interpreted as signs of impending weather changes. For example, in some rural communities it was believed that if a dog ate grass, it was a sign of impending rain. Similarly, a dog digging frantically in the ground was thought to foreshadow an approaching storm. While these beliefs may seem like mere superstition, they often have roots in actual meteorological phenomena. Dogs are highly sensitive to changes in barometric pressure, which often precede shifts in weather patterns. Their behavior, therefore, could indeed serve as an early warning system for observant humans. Chapter 10. Guardians of the Home Dogs as Protectors Throughout history, dogs have served as loyal companions, skilled hunters, and perhaps most importantly, fearless protectors. This role as guardian is deeply ingrained in the canine psyche, a primal instinct honed over millennia of coevolution with humans. In countless cultures, dogs are revered as protectors against both physical threats and spiritual dangers. Their presence alone with their keen senses and intimidating bark is often enough to deter would-be intruders. But beyond their physical prowess, dogs are often believed to possess a spiritual dimension, an ability to sense and ward off evil spirits or negative energies. In ancient China, for instance, guardian lion statues often resembling dogs were placed outside homes and temples to ward off evil spirits. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about these strange dog superstitions, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating content. The beliefs we've explored today, passed down through generations, offer a glimpse into the human psyche, 
and remind us of the enduring power of these animals in our collective imagination. Let us know in the comments if you know of any other interesting dog superstitions from your culture. Perhaps we'll feature them in a future episode. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the natural world and the fascinating creatures that inhabit it.